Okay, Christina and the MMT folks, let's jump into the virtual reality mold design review right into the room where we do this. Here you can view an injection mold in detail. If you need help, click on the question mark button. Okay, this is an actual uh, mold from um, a vendor from MR Mold. Um, Rick has been so kind enough to give us this mold as a true CAD system, and we are able to import this entire mold into our virtual reality and basically take it apart. We have here our command and control where we can add and open this mold up in steps, one step at a time, so we can go in and uh, listen to audio explaining what a, for example, a B-half movable mold half is, what clamp plates are, leader pins and bushings, a hot runner connector, lo uh, locating ring, etc., etc. So the way this works, I'm just going to start this and uh, show you what is a clamp plate. The storage box mold is mounted to the machine with four mold clamps per mold side. The clamp... I can stop this anytime, the audio, and then I actually can go in and grab this entire mold and pull it towards me. And then I can review this mold. And especially in an x-ray vi vision, I can check out this clamp plate and let it go. And then we can go in and say, well, I would like to see another step. So we can open up the mold even further, get more audio points, and can go back in and look at different plates. I'm going to start the audio and then stop it because I can easily see then the entire plate in an x-ray vision. The core plate is also the parting line between the movable and stationary mold halves. So it interacts actually. It gives you the text, the audio explains what this is all about, and then interacts between the other components. So again, I can grab this um, B plate here and look at the water lines inside in x-ray. You can see nicely how the water is routed. And yeah, I'm going to throw this over there. No, uh, it wants to stay there. Oh, okay, we'll keep it there. The purpose of guide bushings is to guide the stationary and movable. Again, I stop the audio and can grab certain sections within our system. You can imagine like a the hot, hot runner, runner manifold plate contains the hot runner drop cable channels for the heaters, and water circuits for cooling. The plate is machined to the... Again, I can stop at any time I want and just grab the plate and look inside how this mold was designed with all the holes in them, with all the pockets, with all the channels. And yeah, I, I really don't need that one. So let's throw it away. And then, of course, we can take and open it up all the way with all the details we can see it in our design now i can go in i don't have to push the audio buttons i can just go in and grab this piece this is the core insert oh nice i can grab the actual part and say ah oh, this is a hinge box living hinge box oh that's nice okay i can grab two at a time i can plug Take the cavity insert and the plate and see, oh, this is how it's mounted. I see. Just throw that away. Would you please? I can go over to the hot runner, for example, and say, okay, let me check out the hot drop. The hot drop is part of the hot runner system. The hot... Okay, stop it again. I see it highlighted in red. Uh -huh. I can grab it. Yeah, I can juggle it between two hands. I can throw it away and it goes back. I can see what is the hot runner manifold. Because the gate on the store. Turn this audio off. Uh huh. Okay. Wonderful. So, what you see sometimes in the background, this grid coming up, is basically just a walking grid for me. So, I can't, you know, run into any walls <laughs> while I do this for you. So anyway, this is um, a quick vision of what you can do with actual molds. These are actual CAD designs that can be put into virtual reality and be examined in VR. Yeah.